baby, the wait is over. New dates added on the Middle Class Famous Store. Gang, we're coming to see you. Bring the squad out. Live stand-up comedy show. Play a little LRG with mm-hmm. the crowd. Great way to introduce new people to the show. Bring the squad out. Kippy, straighten these bozos out. And in November, we have two shows in Atlanta as part of the Red Clay Comedy Festival. Get those tickets. Then we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. Also, we have a sold-out show in Philadelphia. Two sold-out shows in Philadelphia. Sorry. Smell you next time, Philly. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island. We just had a second show. Tickets available Woo! in December. Boston, the same thing. We had a second show. Tickets still available. Get those tickets. Those shows will sell out. We'll see you there. See ya. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy. Yeah? Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antony's basement. She's upstairs arguing with the mailman. Oh, no. Trying to get him to pay for a plan B that they uh, okay. made an arrangement on. All right. Okay, fair enough. My co-host is coming at you from you, right next to me. You really mailed that one in. <laughs> <laughs> He's the CEO. CEO of Are You Garbage? I'm not giving you anything. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boardwalk, baby. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trader Ralph! Cooking. And then, obviously, the greatest goddamn website of all motherfucking time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Check it the fuck out, gang. It's a party over there. Write it down, copy and paste. Whatever you got to do, go check it out, mm-hmm. gang. And how about a nice quick shout-out to our producer extraordinaire. He's back with us. He's feeling better. But next episode, he's going to be gone again. <laughs> so he might get sick next week. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dude? What up, yeah, T-Bone? There he is. Dude, we got the podfather, the OG East Coast Woo! Don of Dons. Looking a little trim over there, if I do say Wee! so myself. Yeah, I'm chubbing up, I got to be honest I'm surprised he didn't come in in a two-piece. <laughs> <laughs> Showing them off a little bit. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us to get today for the second to third time. He's back with us. Um, had a fucking fantastic summer, this guy. Just to let you know, you can check him out in the brand new movie, Fourth of July, the fucking box office summer fucking smash. You can check him out in all five seasons of Louie, and he also has a brand new special out right now called Robert Kelly Killbox. You can get that all at louisck.net. Give it up for the new and improved. The 2.0, Robert Kelly, everybody. The six, the six skinny. It's <laughs> my six skinny. The six. And it's uh, this Lu- is it, Lu- LouisCK.com. Is it? I thought yeah. it was LouisCK.net. I don't know. but I think, it, I think it is. I'm right. Well, I'm I think 100% LouisCK.com. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Just T-bone, fucking Google it out I'm there. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm If pretty you're sure. wrong, I'm making you a whole hoagie. If you're wrong, uh, are you going to make me? I'll throw up. I can't eat. I know. You can't do it anymore. <laughs> I got to fucking. You've lost your superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's LouisCK.com, folks. What the uh, fuck? Look, he must have changed. Louis! Now, now you have to eat a whole, a whole hoagie. <laughs> he already was planning on it, so we're good. <laughs> That'll be two on the day. Hi, what's up? LouisCK.com, uh, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of skinny minis over here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, the spiral fold is going to go through on this episode. <laughs> he's going to be stapling his stomach by midway through. Look over, he's got a fucking staple gun going. I'm having my tongue removed next week. <laughs> Think you're going to one-up me? What are you, nuts? Still uh, manage to get fatter somehow. <laughs> now there's more fit. To, it doesn't get the food, doesn't get Ah, fuck. God damn it, I couldn't get that out. Yeah, way to go, Bozo. I was good. I was putting it together. It was like the Matrix. I just couldn't Bo- get there. Bozo's my favorite. Bozo and Dud. Oh, Dud's <laughs> a good you're one. You're a Dud. Yeah. Oh, I love uh, when Colin, who, someone, I think Colin called uh, Joe DeRosa a Dud. <laughs> calling somebody a Dud. Boss's Rose is like, Joe DeRosa is just a Dud. <laughs> it was the most perfect word for him. Uh, that's great. But, well, buddy, congratulations on everything. Thank you very much. Brand new special, Kill Box, Louis C- com. That's correct. Fucking unbelievable. You filmed it down there in Florida. We did it down in Florida at Coastal Creatives uh, in St. Pete. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Florida was the place uh, that kind of saved my life during the pandemic. 
because they didn't shut the down. No. I, ju- I went down there and I just did show after show after sure. show. And those people just <laughs> showed the fuck up. Yeah, so. they, yeah, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, side splitters. So yeah, it was it was fun. Plus, you know, Mike Calta, my number one best friend sure, down there. Sure, the Calta. He uh, we sold it out in five minutes, two shows, mm-hmm. all of them gone. I mean, they're just the crowds down there just support me. So it was it was epic. It was great. We made the space. Uh, we went into that empty. It's just blank space. And we went in there, and I told him what I wanted to do. And Louis, he's just a fucking genius. His team too. He put me, he gave me his uh, his guys. He didn't give me like you locals. Are. You didn't get the B squad. I got the you got the oh, heavy hitters. Yeah, like the set designer has a fucking Emmy. Damn. Well, you know what I mean? Like all the people there, like Emmy award winning. You know, Grammys, all the shit with him. So it was pretty great to. Uh, Not some leftover roadie from Sticks or something like yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, like some local guy, some meth head sound guy. Yeah, You'll be fine. Stealing the equipment and stuff. <laughs> they don't need to hear you. Yeah, I can hear it through the. Yeah, yeah. I can hear it. You're yeah. good. Yeah, it was. It was. Un- it was fucking unbelievable. And now I just saw the cut that Louis edited it. He directed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I just saw it. It looks fucking great. We just wanted to. I'm a club comic. You yeah. know what I mean? You guys, we're club guys. Mm-hmm. We go into these clubs and fucking murder. And we wanted to recreate a holy shit a club special. Like sure. The theater special is... Your first bless. special was that, or not your first, the, the, whatever, the last one. The, yeah, uh, uh, Live from, from the Village, the Village Underground. Live from mm-hmm. the Village right. Underground. That was the same. That I also, you know, nerd out for a second. That was one, nobody really had done it in a club like that at right. that point. Like, at least, or that one really that like that high was like, level of production. Yeah, I was like, oh, you're fucking, you're in it. Like it feels like you're sitting in the room rather than watching people watch this. Well, special. up until that point, and you're a nerd, and you're a nerd. You'll know we couldn't do it. The cameras were too big, of course. So you couldn't do take, the yeah, sound. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. at that point, they came out with those cannons. But in that special, you know, Jim Serpico and, and uh, figured it out where someone was by the. You had to shut the camera off every fifteen minutes. So you had to. Sh- there was people by every camera. Shutting it off, Damn. going to another camera and turning it back on because they just didn't record that video look, yeah. for that long. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty epic how they did it. But that special was awesome. This one, Louie was just, I had two hours because I no one would give me a special. Mm-hmm. Nobody, I, you know, nobody would be like. Uh, Which is just, crazy because you kill. I mean, if you ask anybody in New York or even like any, you know, big, you kill harder than probably anybody. Yeah, but that don't matter. I know. I'm just saying, I, I get, but that's, yeah, it's yeah. crazy because you're that fun, like yeah, it, a murderer. It's a weird thing. Like I, you always thought that you come up and you, you're you're one of the funniest guys in the room and you'll <laughs> get stuff, but that's not the case. The fastest horse doesn't win the race sure. in this business, but I don't hate the people. I get it. Sure. Whatever the fucking reasons. God bless them. But Louis, I toured with him in March and he came off after my set. Uh, he's like, Dude, what the fuck? Are you, do you have a special? And I was like, no, no one will give me one. He goes, I'm doing your fucking special. You I'm go. doing it. You should have a special. I'm going to do that. And he did it. A lot of people say shit like that, but he actually did it. Him, Leah, his, I mean, I, I was, I was, you know, and I told him what I wanted too. And he actually did that. You know, he That's put right. the money. So I need you to buy it because I got to pay Louis back. <laughs> <laughs> I owe that motherfucker That's a lot. Louis C.K. dot com. I mean, that we need to get his money back. You know what I mean? We got to recoup. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if the that boys movie, are in the red. I don't know if that movie did it, but so I got to do it. You know what I mean? I I don't want to see Louis fucking yeah. doing headline spots in fucking you know yeah, Jacksonville. Louis, yeah, Louis just, in Poughkeepsie next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's doing laugh it up. Yeah, he's got, he's got just to pay back fucking my stupid special. <laughs> doing night. Teen shows at the train station. <laughs> I just kid. I love. We Lebanon. love that yeah. show. It sucks. You have to say that. I know. I know. Yeah. Do love well, I, yeah. I did say it. I did <laughs> mention somebody. Ari was on here, and I mentioned a club or something, and they fucking oh, came yeah, at it me. Yeah, it's and it's of, like, what the fuck? Are, like, where it's a comedy podcast. Yeah. And also, the club stunk. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want from me? What was, what was I the, didn't lie. <laughs> what was the club? <laughs> say the club again. Come on. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Give, what does it sound like? Uh, Schmeiz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I want it all. I want all the smoke today, boys. Let's go. Louie, you stink too. <laughs> go back to .net. What are you doing? Like you making me look like an asshole. It was LouisCK.net for a while. Yeah, back in the 60s. I mean, what the fuck? Who uses .net? Louie was the first guy on the internet. <laughs> uh, but buddy, an amazing summer. You look absolutely fantastic. Thank you. How... Um, what has changed other what has changed in your life other than that? You're dressing, you get some new gear, you get a whole new wardrobe. I mean What are you doing? Yeah. What are you dude. down to, by the way? What's the X in front of you? I have uh I can do an XL. Really? That's a big shot. That's, that's this a big a, on this you. This is two. 
That's so a this two X. This is too big. So I was three XL T. You have to do the T. Sure. The tall, because when you do this, thank you, good night. Yeah. I did that one night with Showing the regular, a belly button. Dude, yeah. Dude, it came out and I just saw the girl in the front row like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> fuck. That <laughs> it throws up like a dog. Fucking belly button hernia <laughs> just came out. Her fucking cheese stick shot out of her mouth. <laughs> I, Looks like you got meatloaf under your shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like a ham. <laughs> like I, stole, I stole a ham. It, it's not just fat. It does get it does get wild. The veins and the and the crevices and the cracks and the way the looks skin. Like a looks. hand grenade went off when you did <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, dude, your belly button. You ever fucking scoop out your belly button? Oh, all the time. I mean, just stuff comes out of there. Yeah. I had a piece of cheese. Mine smells like cheese a lot. I Mine to, smells, I but I didn't know. I don't know if it was cheese I made in my belly button or it was cheese that fell in my belly button. If it was outdoor cheese, you're not sure. I don't know if it was. Yeah, I don't know Fucking if it was. Fucking Baby Bell Bobby over here. <laughs> 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 Fucking Cooper Sharp in there. Yeah, no, everything. My, my dude. The I'm chicks at home are probably touching themselves <laughs> right now. <laughs> Ladies, take a cold shower, will you? <laughs> Yeah, I can. I do. the The greatest thing so far. Are you pants over the belly now? I never did that. You, what are you doing it now, though? I, right? I I don't do that. Really? No, I can't. I still have a. I I have. I know people who do the. Pants. I'm over the belly. I don't do that. I I, I think that's a cheat, and uh, I feel I'm, weird. I'm doing whatever I, I can. <laughs> I'm smoking mirrors here. I did. But it. I can do. I couldn't do it before. If I did it before, I'd look like Johnny Arbuckle or whatever his name was. But now I can kind of do Johnny it a little bit. Johnny Arbuckle. John Arbuckle? I don't know what his name is. Fatty Arbuckle. Farty, it's yeah. Fatty Arbuckle. Farty Arbuckle. Farty He's Arbuckle. also Farty Arbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I go I go under. I, I could never go. I felt weird pulling it up. You do it, and when you do it, <laughs> like I saw you we were at the pool the other day. You were doing it. Oh, that was a big it looks mistake. Like, it looks I like, wore the wrong bathing suit. Normally, It looks like in, you're from 1922 yeah, when yeah. you do it, by the way. In bathing, suit situations, black and white. in bathing suit situations, I normally don't, I don't, normally don't do it. But I had grabbed the wrong bathing suit, so I did it. And but, yeah, it's a tough look at a fucking but you're hotel like, pool in Las you're, Vegas. You're you're like a you you're Hollywood fat, like you're Jackie Gleason fat. I was like, everybody wears their fat different. Mm -hmm. I, I was just all belly. I had that Irish, fucked up fat. I had these. I had the legs of like an eighty seven year old woman from Worcester, Massachusetts. <laughs> you got skinny legs. I got skinny Which chicken legs. Good. I got case I the chicken huge leg. legs. Yeah, well, that's good. That's because you're fucking working out all the time, carrying that torso around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I should have had big legs too. I was a fat. I was three fifty, dude. Yeah, three fucking fifty. Bigger than any. Uh, I was bigger than any uh, heavyweight champ. I was bigger than most defensive lines at five eight, and uh, it was done. I mean, my knees were going, my feet were tingling, uh, my liver was fatty. I mean, I. I you know, I was gonna be uh, one of those guys. You were cruising. I was. I was. You were gonna be talking about me. You were gonna have a special episode dedicated to Bob, and Keith was gonna <laughs> have to come on. Yeah. yeah, picking up all those Louis parts. <laughs> 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 you shave your head immediately. How funny! How funny! How funny if I lose all the weight and he doesn't use me, he uses you now. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, you were my go-to fat guy. That's my whole plan. Because we were talking about it on the phone the other day. Like, yeah, I gotta do it too. I gotta do. It. I'm just waiting for you to get real skinny. Everybody else to get real skinny. I'm the only fat guy. In town. Well, now I'm going to stay like this. I'm not losing any more weight. <laughs> <laughs> but are you doing for the uh, for the wardrobe rekick? Are you going out? Yeah, you, you go out one up? day and buy like a bunch. No. Or are you doing a piece. Because you, you had I don't know if that was what you were wearing, but you had like a like a finance bro kind of vest on in your, your episode with Greg Stone that you did on uh, yeah on your pod. Yeah. Are you are you upgrading a little bit? No, not yet. You got you, to. You can't. You, I know, I, but you, you, the idea of he's going to get smaller, everything he buys is an, a 2X or an X. Yeah. When he gets down to a large, it's yeah. all out the door. I went, I went to Walmart like, like a like month ago. pants for Benjamin Button. Yeah. You, got, <laughs> you only got, there's, there's just a shelf life on those t-shirts. Yeah. Hold on. You went to Walmart? What the I, f Dude, I went to Walmart and bought $400 worth of fucking outfits. That's smart. Yeah. Because you're, you're in a holding That's 17,000 t-shirts at Walmart. <laughs> he owns a Walmart now. I bought $400 worth of clothes at Walmart. I'm telling you, I went to Walmart and bought my, my wife was like, we you get your new stuff. I'm like, go to Walmart. I ain't fucking spending money and it's not going to fit mm -hmm. in a, in a month or two. And what's the trajectory right now? You're down. What? So you were, were you were, were you were 350 when was, you got, when, when you when went I, in, when I went in, I was 335. Cause you have to lose, you have right. to lose a certain amount of weight. You can't just go in. You can't just call a doctor up 
and go get it done like a teeth cleaner. We talked about that. We yeah. talked about that. I, I got to get my BMI down if I was going to consider doing that. You got to go in. You you meet with a nutritionist. You got to uh, go to a heart guy, get your heart checked out, and then get your BMI down to a certain percentage. Okay. Before they go in, and then that, I got down to three thirty five. So you went from three fifty to three thirty five. Three fifty to three thirty five. Uh-huh. And now the last time I weighed myself was, uh, I think I was three fifty. Three fifty eight. Wait, when? Two fifty eight. Two fifty eight. Two fifty eight. Two fifty eight. Jesus Christ! You're down a hundred pounds. No, no, two two sixty five. Okay. Sorry, sorry, two sixty five. I think, but I, I don't weigh myself. Do they say what you could be looking at? Like where you two hundred? That's what, so two hundred by when? Roughly end of the year. End of the year, you're two hundred. Okay. Then you'll go and get the get the stuff. What's oh the clothes? The clothes. I'll get new clothes at when I, when I you will, settle. I won't get new clothes at then either. I got to make sure. The reason why I didn't even tell anybody about this because mm-hmm. I didn't, you know, I didn't want. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know it was a. It was a big decision, you know, because you you want to do it yourself. You want to just go to the gym, eat right. You know what the fuck to do. Sure. And you want to do it yourself, but I couldn't this time. I've done it six times before. I mm-hmm. just couldn't do, do it this time. So I, f- I looked at it like... Um, but for people that don't know, we didn't even talk about it. Bobby uh, has mesothelioma. Yeah, we didn't I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying right now. Part right. of a big lawsuit <laughs> coming in. And I have well, sep- that's when he's going to buy his clothes, not at Walmart. Yeah. Once that money lands. I have sepsis, too, from a pimple <laughs> near my nut I popped. It just didn't heal right. So. Ew, really? No. Wow. Fucking that, that was a little too true, I yeah, thought. That was a little, no, too, yeah, no not a little too accurate. <laughs> I didn't get an infection from it. I just popped it. Sepsis. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you had the sleeve done. I had a gastric sleeve, which is there's three things. There's the the uh, gastric bypass where they rearrange your whole shit. It's a big procedure. The little uh, ring or whatever the fuck they call Band. it. Band. Band. Uh, and then the sleeve where they just make your stomach the size of a banana. And it's it's uh, not invasive. It's uh, laparoscopic. Uh, it's like a three-hour surgery. You're walking around that night. But I was looking at it. How do they get, because I saw they do the little holes and they go in like that. Yeah. How do they get the sleeve out of there? How do they get they, the rest of the stomach out of there? They take it out uh, through one. They have a little incision near your belly button. And they, they just take it out. out. They suck that stomach right out and throw it in a pan. Where'd that go? They feed it to seagulls <laughs> up front. <laughs> they <laughs> use it to catch crab. <laughs> Took yeah. it to Cooperstown. No, my guy made sausages with it. <laughs> Bobby Haggis. <laughs> Haggis. It's a good sausage. <laughs> they gave, they yeah. gave Bobby the sleeve. They'd have to give you the whole Shirt. Holy <laughs> shit. Bring in a fucking Keep tailor. on a board. Oh, maybe I'll wear that. <laughs> wear a Foley suit. <laughs> Lap band suit. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, t- <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, so you have, so you do that yeah. and then 200 pounds, man. Well, no, I didn't lose 200. No, I'm saying when you're going to, you're going to be at 200. I'll do 200. Year. I'll probably lose. Yeah. I'll probably be like, uh, maybe a little under. We'll see 130, but it, it had to be done. Now, since then, my heart, my blood pressure is normal. Okay. Liver, normal. Uh, uh, pre-diabetic insulin levels, normal. normal. All my aches and pains are gone. Sleep apnea is gone. I sleep now at night. I actually get rested. What are you going to do with we the machine? We saw Al front. He rode up on a skateboard. That's how young he feels. <laughs> yeah. The two kickflips. Doing they, cartwheels they down the street. gave me a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> what about the... Let's talk about the most important thing. What? What's the little guy like the these unit. days? You get uh, a little life back in him? Let me tell you something, man. Does he get a little more wiggle? Two things happen. A lot of stuff happened that I was like, this is awesome. You know, tying my shoe in the middle. Sure. Actually tying my shoe. Yeah. Uh, like standing up, tying my shoe. Ooh. Fucking nuts. In the middle. I got to go on the, I got to use the bed to put my socks on. I gotta it's be, starting to get better now, but I, a couple months ago. Dude, his shoe yeah, came untied <laughs> yesterday in the airport. Oh. All I hear is, Fuck! <laughs> I go, I go. Do you want to find? Do you want to take care? Of it? He goes, no, I don't want to do anything about it. I'm like, all right, man. Let's <laughs> wait till we get to Cleveland, dude. I got Kizix, the slippins. I was, I was like, fuck it. This is the best thing I ever yeah. made. Just slip them in. But no, uh, the two things that were incredible was uh, I was up in the tiny house and I took a shower and I was, I washed my balls mm-hmm. from the back. Jesus. Like I could I <laughs> Wait, could actually freak. <laughs> I could actually clean my balls. I paid a girl to do that one. From time. the back. From the back. I could clean my ass and clean you know, because to clean get soap in your ass, I would get hurt. Like I'd have to, you know, dislocate my fucking shoulder. Sure. And put it like just, you know, and it, like I, a bear rubbing on a tree. <laughs> it was, Wait, can you do that? You're skinny. Can you reach behind your thing and grab your balls? 
Yeah, dog. You can? You yeah. can't, right? I think my arms are too short. Even when I'm less skinny, I Dude. don't think or my balls are too tight. Dude, I, I made know. look at I made Keep this some crisp. This yeah. arm's longer than this arm from wiping my ass. <laughs> I, I literally. Are you th- being serious? I swear, dude. I I I can only wipe my ass with my left because I somehow stretched this out enough. Bobby can't go right. <laughs> I can't. I could never wipe my ass with my right. I can't reach my ball bag from the back. Ah, I can't. Are you a hooker, dude? <laughs> I, what the fuck? It's like a magician's <laughs> that's injury. Crazy. That's crazy, dude. You gotta put your foot up. Oh, you gotta uh, put uh, your uh, foot uh, up. Uh, I thought you were goddamn David Copperfield out here. Look at this. Look at this. I can do it from back. Look at this. Look, look, look. I can do it from here. All right. I get it. All right. I get it. Now. I opened the shower. I was like, Dawn. This guy was giving himself reach around. <laughs> you. I go, Dawn, get in here. She's like, what? I'm just holding my nuts. <laughs> They're all soapy. I'm like, look what I can do. Kippy, let's talk about movement. Ooh, man. Yeah. Let's talk about a couple of guys just like us. Got you know nothing they, to lose. A couple of college dropouts. He turned the watch game upside down on its head underneath. Boom. They stuck them. They moved. They keep it going. A couple grew, of rule breakers. Grew into one of the biggest watch brands out there, serving 150 countries. Now they got all kinds of stuff over there. It's a good time. Yeah. Uh, the good folks over there at Movement were nice enough to send us a bunch of fresh fucking Woo! gear. I got my nice going out watch when me and the bird, we throw on something sexy, go out to dinner, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I flash the watch on the waiter, and I go, you probably think this is a couple hundred bucks. Wrong? Fraction of the price. Mm-hmm. I got also, the blue light glasses. They got the blue light no glasses they sent us when you're looking when at When I'm sc- watching my movies. When you're watching the screens that much, it blocks out the blue light, the whole nine yards of science behind it. These guys got it all figured out. Plus, you look fucking cool. Yeah, like a little tent. Um, you'll get a beautiful watch or glasses shipped right to your door for free, and if you don't love it, you can ship it back for free as well. Um... If you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join Movement and get 15% off today with free shippings, with free returns by going to movementmvmt.com slash garbage. One more time. Get a pen. Write it down. There you go. mvmt.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Let's talk about cutting out the middleman. Quitting screwing around, getting your life together, and paying fifteen dollars a month for your cell phone service. Yeah, I got Patty sniffing around on that. I know. She's like, "What's the deal with that Mint Mobile? Is there hidden fees, hidden charges?" I'm like, "No, you dumb broad. It's fifteen a month. Let's go." Straighten her the fuck out. What I'm are you trying doing? Trying to get her to cut the cord from those big box bozos. I call them. Plus, she likes that Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, <laughs> machi, machi. I'm in bed with fucking. Who do I got? I had Sprint, and they pawned me off like I'm a $2 hooker. To T-Mobile, to like T-Mobile. a bozo. I yeah. know. I'm walking around trying to earn money for T-Mobile now. I don't know what's going on. Wacky. But for anyone who hates their phone bill, because I do, Mint Mobile offers, offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Like I told you, I've been saying it for years now. The bird is a customer. Mm-hmm. She's been using it since before I even had a fucking podcast. Yeah. That's how, that's how in bed I am with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying one for a family and at Mint, family started two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivered on a nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan. Keep your same number along with all your existing contacts. The whole nine yards, they make it easy. Bada bang, bada boom, bada bang, boom. Um, switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 beans a month. Wacky. 15 clams, 15 smokes, 15 whatevers. That's two gallons of gas with these prices. Uh, get premium wire- Get premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month and no unexpected plot twist at mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Seriously, you'll make your wallet very happy at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. The second thing uh, was my, uh, I was, I was, I was, Jerking off one day, uh-huh. and I <laughs> was jerking off one yeah, day. Yeah, is, this, yeah. is this before? This is after. After. I was jerking off when I was fat, like with two fingers. Like it was only, I had my dick. My, Got yeah, the acorn going. My dick stomach was very big. Sure. So. But your pooch, na- your pouch. My little, yeah, my little. Your uh, fupa. My, the mound. My, my bush fat. Yeah. So. Your mound. <laughs> I actually. That's what it is, a little mound. I was jerking <laughs> off, and I had, I had my dick in my hand. And then I got to go like this. Really? Double-handed it? I double-handed it. I mean, I had to push down a little bit. Sure, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah we're all gentlemen here, Bobby. <laughs> you're, you're not straight fucking two-handed it. <laughs> not straight two-handed yeah, it. Come yeah, come on. I'm not fucking Shane Gillis. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the, my, my piece was back. And I, 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 I was like, my dick's back. There I mean, it's, 
it's a lot. It's you know a bunch of different colors from being in a war for fucking sure. eight years. Half of it was underground for <laughs> yeah. a decade. Yeah, <laughs> it's I mean, like I, a turnip. It's got PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta fucking leave it in the sun for a, like a little way. Yeah. <laughs> get let, some life. Let it get you its color. Spray back. it with water once every. Yeah, yeah. It looks like hours. when a lake dries up, you yeah. can see the different yeah. levels. The wrinkles. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get the life back into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From, <laughs> there's three inches of fucking just brown Puerto Rican cock, <laughs> and then the rest is just white, and the top is red like Rudolph's nose. Mm-hmm. Fucking dinosaur fossils yeah, in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's my dick's back, which there is you go. fantastic. I mean, that'll put just even more pep in your step, oh, dude. No, you wake fu- up yeah. and you're like, like, ah, you still got a fucking root going. Do you here. feel like you're a little more chubbed up these days down there? Like dude, my sex drives back. I mean, yeah. my wife. It, it's bad timing because she's premenopausal, so she wants nothing to do with it. Sure. Mm-hmm. But you know, when I go to those massage parlors, those chicks are fucking. Yeah, they're, they're on board. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that for a while. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's bad. There's a lot of good things though about it, man. I mean, just being able to sleep. You don't understand how much sleep affects, affects your day. I do. I do now since I got the machine. When I got, since I got right. the sleep apnea machine. Yeah. Before that, the dude was like, bro, you probably haven't had a decent night's sleep in seven years. It's crazy. And now I use it religiously. In the beginning, I was a little off on the lawn. It was yeah. uncomfortable. It was this. I wasn't washing it right, which I got a fucking terrible fucking uh, like sinus infection cold a few weeks ago. Yeah. But now I use it fucking religiously, and it, 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 it's a game changer. It's a game sleep. changer. But losing the weight is better than the sleep apnea sure. machine. I mean, I sleep... I sleep on my back now. Wow. Like I used to have to sleep on my side, or I used to get that fat position. Oh yeah, I, pillow between the legs, holding a pillow, yeah. two pillows. Under Dude, you. my my knees would hurt because my fat leg was on my other leg. This guy's I, hurting himself. I, yeah, sleep. <laughs> it was bad, dude. Jeez. It was bad. So now I feel fantastic. That's I awesome. feel fantastic. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. and I, I wasn't gonna tell anybody, but I'm like, there's too many motherfuckers that are like me that I know, or that might that are like, because it's the biggest decision ever. Sure. Because you don't want to get it. I'm one of them. What do you mean? I'm one of them. And that took me that that took me by surprise when you told me that. Right. And I was like, fuck, man. Because I told you my pulmonologist said it. The cardiologist said it. I and I'm it. like, I don't want to do that, that, that. And then you were like, dude, I wish you wish you would have done it 10 years ago. Everybody I talked to for the last three years, because I know a lot of people, it's like being gay. And it also because takes- Because I know a lot of people and I can't like out them. Sure. You know what I mean? But it I came out- It takes a lot to come out you know, and, and say that. Hundred uh, percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. There's probably tons of guys that we know that that had it. That oh yeah, just worked out. Did this, did that. Oh, I would do that for sure. Really? Oh, I would lie to everybody. Lose sixty pounds yeah. in two weeks. Hey. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be taking pictures of marathons and stuff that I didn't run. I'd be fucking. I'd really be hamming it up. Well, yeah. that, that's why it's. I'd be photoshopping me in the gym. You're just walking around with a trophy. Yeah, I got win. a medal. Yeah, <laughs> jujitsu medals. <laughs> I'm doing it all. I'd be like, did you hear Kevin? Yeah, he did it naturally. Tough, a, tough mutters, I heard. Wearing a gi all the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got a fucking black belt with three red stripes and a dragon. I would tell that no for sure. I wouldn't tell anybody just because I would want the. Well, Let me ask you this: Is it covered under your insurance? Yes. So you don't have to pay out of pocket. No, I think it would be covered under mine as well. It's it's, it's covered, covered under, under most. I feel it's covered under most, but um, the you know the process of it, doing it, it was it was shameful because I was like I'm a man, you know I gotta sure and I just couldn't do it. But then I'm like. I know guys use testosterone and steroids because they got That's how they get their shit together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went to rehab for drugs and alcohol thirty-seven years ago, so I was like, it, it's like going to rehab. Mm-hmm. It's like I get, but I can't. I can't just go away for three months. It's like my stomach is in rehab right now, and I get to go live my life sure. and do what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And it gives me that little a uh, governor that just helps me because I I still have to work out every day. I yeah. I walk and I lift weights, and that's it. And then I, I eat right. I quit caffeine. I quit sugar. But it gave me that ability. It that gave you two that, weeks that of, Yeah. What that, were you that, drinking before? You drinking the bone marrow before? Are you still rocking the bone marrow? Was he drinking bone marrow? <laughs> bone broth. Bone broth. Yeah, bone now you can't drink. Good. I'm not bone marrow. I'd be fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bo- <laughs> bone marrow. You can drink bone marrow? What the fuck's wrong? You can eat it. I've had it at yeah. a Veneta Tavern yeah, You can, before. It's you can put right. it on toast. You can't drink it. <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah if you, you doing shots of it. Yeah, give me a shot of bone marrow. <laughs> Just put a straw in it. marrow meat. Yeah. Yeah, so- I'm, I'm, I just cleaned my system out uh, completely. So, and also, I, what if it didn't work? What if I fucking two weeks in, I just started eating like a savage? That happens. That sure. can happen? Dude, people, you have to really- Yeah, people com- eat themselves out of it, right? They break the band. They like, well, uh, you, they, I've heard. Yeah, Ralphie May went through two bands. Damn. He, he did the band surgery. He ate through it. You can, you can, and even this, in two years, your stomach can get big again if you want it to. So, 
It's uh yeah, it's not just like a cure. There's a lot of work 100%. that goes along with it. It's just an shit. aid yeah, dude, to I do, helping you live I, a healthier lifestyle. I do 10, 20,000 steps a day. And you feel full when you eat. You have a little dinner. You, well, it's you not eat, the same thing as before. So what you eat, you'll have like a little piece of chicken. Now I can eat whatever I want. If I, You know what I mean? I can have anything. So you can have a little piece of chicken, vegetables, and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, you're just full. And when we go to the dinner, I just, go, I just put it aside, and I go, I'll take that home, and I'll eat it the next day. I'll have lunch the next day. So I... You know, it's like you, we used to get appetizers, two appetizers, a salad, the bread, sure. a cappuccino, a life, mm-hmm. yeah, and then yeah. a whole meal would come. Mm-hmm. And then I'd fucking devour that. I'd try a little of my wives. You yeah, know, that's dinner. Steal some of Max's French fries. There you go. Yeah. I, now I'll just get a piece of fish, a couple things of vegetables, maybe a little piece of potato, and I'm out. I'm hmm. just done. I eat slower now, smaller bites. But I, it's, there's no more, what are we going for lunch? What are we doing for dinner tonight? I don't give a fuck. You don't give a shit. I don't care anymore because it's like food isn't my best friend anymore. It's not like, you know, I'm on the road and it, I'm not like, what am I going to, where am I? I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I just eat a little bit of something and I'm sure, done. keep it moving. Keep it moving, dude. Keep it moving because I'm telling you, it does the same shit. Uh, 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 as alcohol does to your body inside. Mm-hmm. The, Let's not get crazy. All I'm, right? t- I'm telling you. <laughs> Alcohol's all right. In alcohol my body. never hurt anybody. This, guy, this guy's obviously a quack over here. <laughs> but fucking believe this guy. Get out of here. Who brought this guy here? I'm in just, here, trashing not, my favorite thing in the world. Not, not regular alcoholics, like the bad ones. Yeah. Yeah, no. Like Al- my parents. I mean, people that are fun. <laughs> people who are real alcoholics, you get the cirrhosis of the liver. It, you, you, you get fatty liver. Sure. F- pe- fat people get the same shit. I had fatty liver, just like I was drinking too much. Like pate. Pate. Oh, pate is so, oh, good. so good. Dude, we went to fucking, when I did that tour, with, I did this great tour too. I set it up to where I went with, uh, with Louis to Europe before I got the surgery. So you had one final run, dude. Did out. you, buddy? I had a. Oh, that's what we wanted. It's like prom <laughs> night, baby. Dude, I was fucking everything over there. Like Henry Hill before he went to the can. Dude, we we went. We got fried. We got. Uh, <laughs> now take me to get my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> zucchini, z- zucchini flowers with frog water in it, and then fried. I mean, you bit into it, and the frog water just melted down your face. That's all right. Dude, chicken skin with cream, and then caviar on top. What are you uh, doing to him? He doesn't have the sleeve, man. He's going to be in the table in a second. Dude, <laughs> I'm hard as a rock. What are you, Bobby? You're going to kill the goddamn dude, I, guy. I got carbonara by a castle in Rome. Oh, comes, it comes in the fucking the, the skillet. They don't even put it on the plate. They just give you the skillet. And cassia pepe. I got, the guy goes, what do you want? I go, cassia pepe and carbonara. And give me that fucking antepasto too. Stuffed my face. <laughs> I mean, I had a food glorious tour mm-hmm. before I, and then three days later, I came back. I, I lost weight over there, over there from walking so much. Came back three days later. Two days after that, three days after the surgery, I was at the premiere of Fourth of July. Right. That's right. when you guys saw me. Yeah. 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 So it was, uh, I, I did it the right way. I planned it out perfectly. And then right after that, I went up country to the tiny house for two months. I was away from comedy. Let the heat blow off. Any yeah. of the, I wasn't like around that. any of the bullshit. I was just walking every day, hiking, kayaking, fishing. There was no bullshit. Um, I went up to JFL for a little bit, but I wasn't around any of the shit. But now- It's good. It's fucking great, dude. It's the best thing I ever did. I wish I did it. I wish I did it three years ago when I thought about it. Okay. I, I wish I did it then because I would be ahead of the game right now. It's a game changer. And I know- I know a lot of people who did it that are in the closet with it, which is cool. I'm mm-hmm. cool with that. But they're, they all said the same thing. It's the best thing I ever did. Cool. Yeah. So if you need help. Thank you. I'm here for you. you give me that number of that fucking chicken skin joint. Yeah, what you are you talking about? <laughs> Where in Rome was this? Yeah, where's this castle at? <laughs> Get my night suit, Toby. <laughs> I hope nothing happens. I hope nothing happens. What do you we, mean? We're going to cut back to this thing and you're with Keith. Hey. Yeah. You guys. You're, mid, you're, you're missing a foot. Yeah. He's like, Bob, will you come in and do the show with me? He, we can't understand yeah. him anymore. I, I, you're going to need to be fat again because I got to make fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob Somebody. is a good replacement when you go. All right. Here we go. Thank now you. we're cooking. Buddy, congrats. Thank you, buddy. It's awesome. You got the special out. Yeah. The fucking movie this summer, which everybody you fucking loved. You were great. Loved. I mean, yeah, Dude. I don't want to sit here and blow you. You were fantastic in the movie. Killer, killer. Just such a fuck. Great actor, but yeah. also comedically great Thank actor. you, buddy. It was a great movie. It, it was, was great. Movie. I loved it. Fantastic. And that, I, what I loved about that movie is that he did that premiere at the Beacon. I, that was one of my favorite yeah, great nights experience. ever. It was great just night. a great, great night. Looking out and seeing every single person I knew, every comic, open micers, headliners, we all showed up for, for that mm-hmm. night. 
It was so, it was epic to me. It was great. The, I mean, I was fucking hurting because I just got out of surgery sure. and everybody was trying to hug me. I'm like, get the fuck off me. Uh, but it <laughs> was. A stomach over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get away. It was, uh, it was, uh, that's why I love New York. Yeah. I love comics in it New was, York. Uh, it was a really cool, yeah. really cool night for sure. Good, great yeah, night. Yeah. Fantastic night. It was a fun experience, man. We couldn't be happier for you, gang. Do yourself a favor. All this is at louisck.com. You got the all the seasons of Louis that Bobby's in. You got 4th of July, and you got the brand new special, yeah, Robert but Kelly Killbox. Get, kill that get mine first, and then yeah. see if you like it. <laughs> you're plugging, you're plugging the on. fucking competitor. He's, he's in all of it. What do you mean? He's not wetting his beak He's an accomplished man. You're plugging a better comedian. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Louis specials are also yeah. on there. Check yeah. those out. Louis got three houses. I got a three-bedroom ranch with no basement. Help me. What the fuck are you talking about? I just got get stomach surgery. I need New clothes, you cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Walmart. Shop, fucking this guy's shopping at Walmart. You're plucking yeah, a millionaire yeah. special. You get to eat fried chicken. I'm fucking eating breasted chicken, only a quarter of it. I figured you'd wet your beak on everything. I don't know. Wet my beak? What are you, nuts? <laughs> I'm wet my beak on the show, Louie. I got fucking eight bucks for Fourth of July. What are you fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. Gang, this is a family episode, as you know, when... Um, when you sign up for the Patreon there, you can have your question right on the air. We got Mr. Robert Kelly here uh, to answer some of those questions for you. Mm-hmm. Kippy? Okay. <laughs> <Take it away. laughs> you abruptly you stopped on that one. Uh, all right, this one's from Blake Smith. What's up, boys? Brand new $10 homie Hello. here. Shout out to it. Is it garbage to move to a new house and bring the entire cabinet of full expired food and spices? You do that? To go to a new house and bring the old food? Yeah. It's not, it's garbage if you bring the old furniture. Yeah. You think? You fucking put that shit on the lawn. They oh. get a brand new leopard couch for 200 bucks. You get a leopard couch? <laughs> An old bottle of Lowry's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you get, you get rid of everything. The only thing you're bringing, I mean, I don't even say bring the mattress, just bring the bed frame. Yeah. You bring shit that's hard to get or, you know, furniture from your Dead grandmother. It's like yeah, something sure. that has like a like a piece rather than like oh, this is the couch we were just using. It's like the, yeah, get a new couch. Get it. I'm the and also I don't like moving shit. I go, I'll fucking no. pay the guy to deliver it. The new one, start yeah. fresh. Yeah, whole nine yards. I don't want to wrap the shit. Oh. I don't want to be in there wrapping dumb glasses and put them in the box. I, hate hmm. it. I make sure it, the two times we moved, I was away. I booked myself <laughs> away. Because I know my wife had to do all that shit. Sure. I'm like, yeah, I got to go I'll make I'll be in them. bananas in Jersey, <laughs> babe. I can't make it. Yeah, I'm staying cold. over. Yeah. It's 35 it's minutes 32 away. 32 minutes away. I got to stay here. It's yeah, fucking they, need me, they, mean, they need me at the club early. I'm exhausted. I'll be at the stress factory for a week. <laughs> yeah, Call me dude. when it's done. Moving is the worst, one of the worst transitions in life. It's so stressful. Once you get everything in there, though, it's all right. Yeah, but get rid of it. Yeah, toss it. Yeah, we no, brought the stuff. Start from the fresh. F- Leave all those old memory, all that old shit. Because it's not like nobody's got a ten thousand dollar couch where you're like, I gotta, you know, move this in. Yes, we're all sitting on something from fucking Wayfair that has cum and fucking <laughs> pizza sauce on it. <laughs> I mean, who are we fooling here? I we brought the stuff. We moved uh, last summer from a one bedroom into a two bedroom um, in the same building. We took everything in the freezer. Well, that's a different thing. Over. Hang on one second. Wait, right. That's different. That's the same building. You're yeah. taking an elevator upstairs. Okay. That's a different thing. Also, you thing. were quite poor at that time. Yeah. 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 Dude, go I needed- throwing away your egos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I needed that hamburger meat. <laughs> that's a 15-minute move. I know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> super does it. Yeah. yeah, you're not. We're talking about when I moved from 47th Street to Westchester. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when I moved from L.A. to New York. You don't take shit. You left yeah. the ice trays. Yeah, you fucking throw them all yeah. out. You toss every, get it the fuck. I was, when I was in LA and we were selling our stuff to move, I had all this furniture out in the lawn, all this stuff, and uh, no one was buying anything. And the lady comes up, she goes, do you have like jackets, socks, like shirts, like old stuff that you, I was like, I was going to give it to Goodwill. She goes, no, put it out in the grass. Everything's a buck. And you know. Uh, all the people will come because it was kind of a low budget area we were living in. Mm-hmm. They need that shit, and so and they'll come. All of a sudden, packed. Everything's gone. Every uh, sh- I sold a pair of socks for fifty cents. Uh, Dom DeLuise bought my. Fu- I swear to God. Wait, who? Dom fucking DeLuise. <laughs> okay. Do you know who that I is? Know, all right, listen, I knew you were going to cop a dude. I, I know the name. You know who that is? I know the name. No, no, fucking Clint Eastwood. I know we shouldn't be buying your socks. I know that yeah, much. He didn't buy my socks. He bought my egg cooker. Oh, my, my God. He bought my microwave uh, egg cooker. I feel cooker. like I've heard this before. What the fuck? Yeah. I haven't heard this. He bought my... He, I look up. There's a two-door Lincoln fucking Seville or whatever the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. I look over. It's Dom DeLuise. Little scally cap, little chubby dude. I walk up. I go, Dom. 
He's like, hey, <laughs> do you want my egg cooker? <laughs> no, he goes, he goes, how much for the egg? I had two of them. I had a brand new one mm-hmm. that you microwave and one that you plug in and they cook eggs. And he goes, how much for the egg thing, kid? And I go, take the, the microwave one. It's brand new. He goes, I don't like microwave stuff. I want the other one. I go, but there's egg on it. He goes, I don't care. I go I even go- better. Yeah, <laughs> free lunch. He literally starred in a movie called Fatso. My favorite movie That's of a good all movie. time. Best movie of all time. Yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, I want to remake it with you. Okay. Yeah, don't get the surgery yet. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> if you get, yeah, I want you to be one of the, the chubby checker. Remember the chubby checkers? Uh, you I don't get know if it? I remember him. They came up when he was. <laughs> they called them and they come in. The the big fat guys come in and. They were, they were, he over ate and they come in, they talk to him and they're sitting down oh, and they're yeah, talking yeah, about like, yeah, you ever yeah. get a jelly donut and suck the jelly out and put chocolate in it? Yeah. And they're like, well, did you ever get, then they started going over the food uh, wars. They started going back in the memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, get the honey. Do you can have a little honey in this, Junior? <laughs> and he's like, we can't, we don't have honey. You can't have honey. And like, get the honey, Junior. And he's like, but you can't, Dom. And the guy goes, get the honey. And then they just rip apart the kitchen. And they push him out of the way. They punch his stomach. The keys pop out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. What the, the best, fuck is going on the in this best, movie? If you're it's a, a fat movie. fuck, go he watch He was in Fatso. Cannonball Run. You never saw Cannonball Run? Oh, my God. What did you yeah. see? Five Italian movies from Scorsese? That's it? You just watched The Godfather. You no, j- didn't? Yeah, you did. You told me you watched The Godfather the other day. Yeah, I had mentioned I watched it, not for the first time. I watched it on the plane. <laughs> I didn't watch it for the first time. Okay, fair enough. You never saw the movie Fatso? No. What year did it come out? I mean, this, this is, is another. Th- 1980. Yeah, I was born in 86. So I'm like, if when I. I'm dude, not, and, and I was a Three Stooges fan. I wasn't born in the 40s. Yeah, dude. I mean, it, what, that's a Stooges culture. Stooges are from the 40s? Yeah. Yes. 30s or 40s? Really? What do you think it was from? The 70s? Yeah, what do you 82? think? 82? 82. <laughs> right before Ghostbusters yeah, came out? Yeah, I like Creature Double Feature. Um, I wasn't around during that time. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, also, like, I don't think Fatso was a classic that- uh, Are you out of your mind? Uh, won the Academy Award. For what? Fattest, fattest, fattest movie, movie ever. Fattest, <laughs> fattest, 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 fattest cast. <laughs> fattest cast 1980. <laughs> his cousin directed it, the, the his sister in the movie. And it's it shot all in the West Village by the cellar. That's where he grew up. His family grew up over there. It's based on his family because they're all fat fuck Italians. Uh, so yeah, okay. It's like a true story. If you're a fat, if you're a fatty, that you need to watch that movie. That's like your movie. Okay, I'll yeah, check he, it out. He's standing by That's your Passion of the Christ. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Angels and demons. <laughs> There's so many Fucking fat moments. I mean, at the beginning of the movie, his fat cousin died. He's huge, and uh, he they're like, "Go get grandma a glass of water." He goes in the thing, and they stir in the sauce. And he's crying so bad. No one cries better than Dom DeLuise in a movie. He's crying. Then he dips the sauce. Yeah, he starts eating. Dips the bread in the sauce. And then he pours cheese on it. And he takes a bite. And it all goes. He's like, hmm. <laughs> and it just goes away. I'm like, oh, I've been there so many fucking times. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, anyways, yeah, Dom DeLuise uh, pulled up. And, and he bought the plug-in one, not the microwavable he, one. He bought the plug-in one with eggs on it. And he goes, what do you do for a uh, living, kid? And I go, I'm a, I'm a stand-up comedian. He goes, ha ha, and he just Will drove away. Will you sign my egg cooker? <laughs> yeah, it was so sad. He, I thought, you know, I thought maybe he wanted to take me in the car, get a hand job or something. I get an autograph. <laughs> also, but isn't that a, that's like such a sad, like Dom DeLuise, this movies you love his movies, movie stars. Yeah. Buying your old buying, egg cooker? Buying old egg cookers. It's the greatest thing ever. Well, I don't know. Are you nuts? Yeah. Dom De, God sent him to me. That's a, that's a, that's a universe thing. That's a, I made sure, it I'm happen. I'm saying it's more sad for Why? Dom, not you. <laughs> No, why? He met nice guy's, little. This guy's successful. He's driving around buying used egg cookers. Dude, he went home and he cooked some eggs. He could buy a new egg cooker. I made it he easier did for him. So the greatest movie of all time. Yeah, it was in the eighties. This was fucking ninety-seven. He had no money at that point. Burt Reynolds told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> Looking for a used George Foreman girl. Yeah, I helped him out. What the fuck? He's in a two-door Seville Lincoln. It's not a Mercedes. He's driving American. He's not that rich. <laughs> I pictured him with a driver. To be honest with you, yeah. I did too. No, he <laughs> pulled up. It was great. Uh, huh. I fucking love Dom DeLuise. Hmm. All right. Well, so, yes. Fat sell, toes added to the list. Sell your shit. Okay. Do not take spices. A spice. That reminded me, my mom bought our shore house, and I was, for years, we've had it like 10 years now at this point, and I was like, these are expired. She kept the spices from the previous owner. Jesus. And I was like, why do we have this? She goes, oh, that was here from when we bought the house. I'm like, fucking torch this place. <laughs> yeah. This is fun. I mean, someone else's pepper. That's weird. Yeah, sell the, sell oh, it. wait, really? From 
Oh my god! They left their spices in. I'm like, all this shit's old. She goes, oh, I don't know. That was in there when we bought that Yikes. house. Yeah, sell the cans. They're worth money. Uh, yeah, they're, they're probably super old school. Catch yeah. an old bullion cube. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> McHenry <laughs> up, not dissolved. McHenry's pepper can. <laughs> it's worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, an old yeah, Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> Lemon pepper. Do you have any always... pre-war salt? <laughs> lemon, <laughs> lemon pepper was always in the back of the spice thing. We never fucked with it. It would always get cakey and stick together. You ever see lemon pepper? I didn't fuck with lemon Ooh. peppers. I like kid. garlic pepper. That's garlic an... pepper, garlic salt. Garlic salt's all right. Garlic pepper, garlic. Yeah. Gar- that, that's a good one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, hmm. I like it. All, all right. right. Well, next one. This one's just funny. This is from the Skook. Is it garbage to wear colored Tims to a construction site because they're your, they're your only pair of boots? <laughs> Saw a guy working on the Queensboro Bridge in a set of red Tims yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it, was fucking rich, it was Rich Voss. <laughs> That's a tough look, man. Showing up with color-coordinated Tims. Oh. Yeah. They're low tops, untied. That's bad news. That ain't good. You got to go the traditional Tims. Traditional work boot Tim. Yeah. You got a pair of boots? What are I, you rocking? You I, probably got some cool rock climber boots. I got the, the you know, that... Uh, you got a set of galoshes? I got the Dominic Gay Guy Gay Club boot, you know, with the... Like the hives, like up to the, knee, the knees? Like a, you know those boots that a lot of gay guys wear with chaps? I got those. They're yeah. like a high heel boot. Like Doc Martens? Uh, kind of like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Where did I, you get them? I got them from this gay guy I was with. <laughs> this gay guy I was Him with. Him and Dom DeLuise <laughs> driving around LA. I, was, I got them from Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Keep the boots, kid. Thanks for the blowjob. <laughs> and the eggs. No, um, yeah, I'm not a boot guy. I don't like Tim's. I don't like the, the Did work. Did you get new sneakers at least? You get new well, pairs? Oh, dude, woods. I got the best sneakers in the world. There you go. What are you rocking? Good. Set of kicks. If you're a fat fucker, these are the 280X12s New Balance. The, Sounds the, like a fighter jet. I know. <laughs> Look at that fucking shoe. It's a slip-on. I mean, if you're a fat fuck and you don't have I new balance. I feel like balance, the slip-on's tough, though, because it doesn't, don't you like, is it? You start doing the You get folded in, in and stuff? No? No. Okay. I'm not a slip-on Now guy. it's going to fight. You know I'm not a slip-on guy? I love it. He's not going to be able to get his shoe back on. <laughs> Toby, hit him with the shoe cam real quick. <laughs> Boom. <No. laughs> there he goes. Yeah, look at that shoe. There you go. There you go. Oh. oh! With authority, Mr. Ooh, Kelly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How bad his shoes when you chubby? That was the worst. <laughs> oh, we got we to gotta do a talent show with recently skinny guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just doing basic shit. <laughs> Up there wiping my ass. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Two have, hand in it. We have the fat guy Olympics. <laughs> 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 What's the socks and shoes time? Huh? <laughs> I think he just broke the record. <laughs> you have to do it without sitting on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, dude. Anybody with colored, coordinated anything kind of bugs me. Yeah, I feel like that's back in the day. That was like early two thousands. That that got yeah. real big in the, in, at least in like the hip hop. Like it was like the hat matched the shirt, which matched yeah. the shoe. Like once shoes got real, like shoes yeah. and jerseys and all that shit and hats got cool. Yeah, black guys look like skateboarders did back in the day now. You know what I mean? They got some weird shoes, some Nike colorful. Weird- oh, they, I can't yeah. I can't uh, stay up on the, the Nike, the, the, the cool shoe trend. I can't. Yanni does it. Yanni's got some cool kicks. I don't like that because you, like, you're with somebody with nice sneakers and if it rains out, they like they have to run to the car. I or did they- it last night, actually. I got hemmed up. It was, I went a new pair of shoes and it was raining. I was like, we're going to take an Uber home. It was like three blocks. My that's, wife's like, we are not. That's silly to me. I know. You get but they shoes. were expensive shoes. How expensive? 150 bucks. That's not fucking expensive. The ruin after this guy just shopped 400 at Walmart. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, Big timer over here. Sneakers, you just get them wet. You're supposed to get them fucked up. I know, but it was more like I just got them. It was like the third time I wore them. I don't, I don't give a fuck about shoes. I don't care about shoes. You were just shoes. bragging about your shoes. Yeah, yeah, no shit. I'm, I'm talking about comfortable. About the XK These are comfortable. These are awesome. I got, I'm talking plantar fasciitis. <laughs> That's, I'm talking hammer. But you know, as a bigger guy, you get your shoes wet. You're in trouble. You're, those shoes are done. It's like nom. Because they're going to start kicking. They're going to start stinking. It's going to be a bad scene. Yeah, toss them. Get a brand new pair. He doesn't do that, though. He doesn't keep no. up good maintenance. What do you mean? I spray a little cologne in there and put them by the radiator. In your fucking <laughs> shoe? Yeah, to make you, them smell good. Like yeah. a guinea? <laughs> you mean? <laughs> I don't know what the Italian-Americans have been Like doing. a French whore walking around there? <laughs> oh. You get fucking, you get a hooker shoe? <laughs> I do. If I took these off, they'd be kicking. Yeah, I don't do that. I toss them. Good fucking buy. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to have an, a guy, a friend of mine in the mafia, and every time he went to his house, 
he make you take your socks off. The and socks? He, to make sure you're not wearing a wire? <laughs> That's what I was, that was my first thought, like Donnie Brisk. No, nah, he, he had a you're closet sh- full of brand new socks, and he made you put new socks on. He's like, there's no reason you should wear dirty socks. I don't hate that. That's They're che- cheap enough. You can buy a pair of socks, have them in your thing, wear a pair of new socks every day. Every day is a lot. But a I, little, I think you're a, right. That's a lot, but, but I'm in. As soon I like as, it. As soon as a sock gets a little f- goodbye, throw it out. Yeah. I, go just, down. I just started doing that. Yeah, you go, what is it, six bucks for 12? Yeah. I just re-upped on the socks, threw out all my old ones and put a whole fresh, fresh thing There's in there. nothing better than fresh socks. Yeah, it's good. A fresh sock, a fresh pair of underwear. Fresh socks, fresh undies. Oof. I mean, whatever you're wearing on the outside, on the on the inside, you feel good. Feel good. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I just bought a fresh set of Goodfellas from fucking Shout Target. Shout out to them, man. Ooh, Are undies. you a Goodfellas man? What the fuck is Goodfellas? It's, it's a, like their brand. It's Target's brand. Dude, their underwear and Walmart, socks man. are fucking awesome. They're good. Do yourself a favor. And you know what? You could get some stuff, cheap stuff in the meantime over there at Target. The Goodfellow brand, they have all kinds of nice shirts and uh, joggers and shit like that. Are they a sponsor of the show? No. Oh, really? We're just a fan. Wow. It's that's also, if product. you need me, check out Butcher Box. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, that's me. <laughs> meat. You're a fucking asshole. You can't have meat. Have you been listening? Wait, you can't? You can't I have can meat? eat meat, but I can't. I'm not going to buy a whole box of it. He doesn't need, he doesn't need <laughs> a box. It's going to take me six <laughs> years. <laughs> I'll be 98 making fucking steak tips. <laughs> oh, did, yeah, did you break the news to uh, Dom Steak Tips that you're out of the game? <laughs> no. They're probably closing right now. <laughs> just a guy, Those poor guy sons hanging, of bitches. Uh, hammering in a fucking piece of plywood. <laughs> I, <laughs> like a hurricane's coming. No, I could. St- <laughs> it was all good to that Bobby Wayne got that goddamn sleeve. You got to think about that too. You're gonna shut down. You're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna financially impact a lot of business. There's a class action lawsuit of a bunch of deli workers. Yeah. Getting together. <laughs> One of my best friends, Paul G. Just, I mean, it's sad. It made me. He just opened a pizza place. It's been my dream my whole life to have a good friend that had a pizza place where I could just he walk really in. Really sets his aim high. Just get a pizza place. <laughs> And I go in there now, and I can't eat. I don't oh, eat anything. It's man. sad. No. Holy yeah, I can still shit. have steak tips. I can just have one. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of sucks. I ain't going to pay to rent up in Boston. No, yeah. no. Unfortunately. I, I do miss that. Yeah, you got to be careful. Though. Look at you guys. You're making me relapse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> fucking rip through this in the afternoon. <laughs> He's going to be on Uber Eats on the way out of here. <laughs> Make you feel guilty. <laughs> you can see me in a ramen shop. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's uh, I, I, I can eat whatever I want, but I can have just one steak tip, which does suck. You ever have steak tips? Uh, I don't know. I got it. I should have brought a bag. I have. I have a freezer in my. I should. I should give you guys my my old clothes and all your my old meat. clothes and your old steak tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got any spices too? I'll take them. I'll be telling the story in twenty years. Bobby Kelly steak tips right here. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled up in a pair of New Balance X twenty nines. I'm telling you right X-29s. now. X twenty nines. You said that like they were government issued. <laughs> yeah. You dropped the model <laughs> number, the yeah. skew, the whole nine yards. Ten, any fat guy knows 1080, 1080 fucking twelves are the sneaker to go. Ten eighty twelve. It's, it's the fat guy sneaker. Mm. Nike stink. Too thin. You're like you need them wider. I need a wide shoe. Heavy bike. Yeah. And I need a lot of cushion. A lot of cushion. Yeah, the Nike, the flat bottom, it's like wearing a high heel for a fat guy. I usually do this uh, one type of Adidas. I can't think of the what model it is, but they're they're pretty cushiony. They're pretty what good. size shoe are you? Uh, 11 and a half, 12. Why, oh, you got a big piece? No. You don't have a big dick? No. Nah. Really? It's in there. It's okay. Yeah. But now, it's also underground. Yeah. Hibernating. Yeah. yeah. It's off the grid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> playing it low, playing it right. <laughs> no credit cards, no cell Tough phones. Six months more it, of winter. It would be nice. If, if I was a much skinnier, when I was younger, it, it was great. Yeah. But now it's, uh, yeah. It's gone. It's bogged down. You'll come back. Yeah. You'll you get the it divorce, back. divorce, all that kind of stuff. A couple of investments didn't go his way. He's uh, he's not doing Lost great. Lost his shirt and Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. The housing market really cleaned them out. Yeah, Shibu Inu fucking took him out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Luis Gomez, that cocksucker. Making me think, dude, you got to get doggy. Get Shibu Inu, fucking motherfucker. Nah, but he's in there. He's all right. Yeah. He's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see him? I see him every once in a while, yeah. nights and weekends. By. In a yeah. mirror. You have to look <laughs> at each other in a mirror guy, like guy, prison. I got joint custody. <laughs> I talk to him on the phone. <laughs> I'll see you later, kid. You're doing yeah, all right in there. there. Put an iPad down. I heard you, you knocked over down. a bread truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor little guy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see here. This one's from Tracy McGrady. Ever get a massage at the mall? 100%. Really? really? What? Like That's in the chair where your head's look. in that thing? And the so guys sometimes w- they have them now. Because the malls are empty, like they're, they're a store. Yeah. Oh. And you go in, it's yeah. like, you know. 100%. Nah, I can't get a massage. I smell fucking pretzels cooking. Yeah, Annie Ann's right yeah. down the block. Nah. Dude, I got a. 
I got, I'm a big massage. I'll go to those chop shops where it's like a dollar a minute. And you know. I went to one up here, and uh, the guy brought me in and put me down on the thing. And then 20 minutes in, I looked down. There was just guy feet in uh, women's flip flops. Real <laughs> big hair. And I looked toes. up, and he goes, "We were busy." I was like, All right, fuck it, <laughs> "Keep going." <laughs> I have one. I use a girl. I have a girl. I a woman. I use in my neighborhood, and I guess she couldn't make it. Yeah. So they sent her. I'm guessing husband Rocco, who who, who came from another job. Like right. he had like work boots on. He had a set. Were of they key- red? <laughs> Were they matching red tips? <laughs> he had a set of keys on his Jesus on it, and like a club foot. So like he like his he would walk around. He's in the middle of a loop job, <laughs> oh, dude. It was bad. You got I, oil over your back. I still got the handy, but you know and calluses on your foot. Oh, dude, it was it, no amount of oil would 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 soak <laughs> oh. up. His, it was still like grip tape on in my back. That's fucking it was bad. Yeah, I dude. went to. I, I go to. I, I've been to. I got it at the uh, at the airport. I got those in, but I didn't get just the chair one. I went in the back room. And That's got all one. right. Airport, you're traveling. Yeah. You're stressed. Yeah. You got to release it. You got yeah, time. I've, a layover. I've, I've done it in the mall. Fucking some fat lady next to me getting one. Uh-huh. I tried to get a hand job in one of those in the mall. You can't do it at the mall, Bobby. Yes, you can. You go two hours, just legs. Breaks them down. Like, I'm not doing two fucking here. Just what you want, and you're out in 15 Two minutes. hours, just legs. Two hours, just legs. That's Keep your reservation at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I like what's going on with the malls these days. It, they're actually pretty fun. They got those kinds of places. They have the, uh, the like guns. The, the BB gun shooting galleries. There's usually a Dave and Buster's in Cause there. Because they're all tanking, so now like they use, like, it's like experience It's kind of fun. Yeah. Like the game, like the arcades, and like they want people to go to, like, do stuff rather than shop. Yeah, you go uh, the Palisades Mall. Is that that's mall? my mall. That's, that's where my I go. mall. Yeah, that's my mall. Where are you? I'm in Washington Heights. Okay, yeah. That's well, my I'm mall. right by the GWB, but I like get out, get hop in the car, go to like an actual mall rather yeah. than doing 50 different stores. They in got the, the city. they got the movie theater, right? They, they got, got the go karts, the comedy club, they got the rock climb. Yeah, they got the uh, what that's else? An all right mall. Ice skating rink now. Whoa! Yeah, they got an ice skating rink in there. I have to check me. They got they have the monkey the monkey things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll never fucking do that. You're nuts. Nah, the monkey things. It's like a fucking trapeze climb thing because it's like a four story mall, which I don't like, by the way. Because you get lost on the floors of like what's where and shit like Yeah, that. but I like that. I love getting lost in a mall. What, they have a rock wall? No, but it's like, it's in the you atrium. Hook, you hook, you get into a harness. It's you like a ropes the course. That's you, the best side. It's, it's a like, ropes yeah, course. Yeah, it's like uh, you, you walk around the But it's like five shape. stories high. Yeah. Oh, I need a fuck that. They have a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, food court kind of sucks. Food court blows. They yeah. used to be. No Chick-fil-A. No Chick Fil A, but they do have a Chipotle, which is all right. Yeah, but every mall should have a fucking Chick Fil A. I agree. Should have a Chick Fil A, and you'll remember this: an Orange Julius. Remember an Orange Julius? I do remember that. Loved that's an a, that's Julius. that's old school mall. Yeah, that's like first mall and ever. And a Sparrow. There should be a Sparrow in your food court. Sparrow. Yeah, oh, I love a You're slice. Crazy. A slice of pizza at the mall just for comfort. There's got to be Sparrow. a Sparrow. Dude, on the first corner. of all, they're this big. They're great. You get two of them and a large di- a large Diet Coke. Call it a day. We used to have. These- I, I I like the the the, the uh, sushi place with the spinning thing where you just grab the plate and they charge you by the call of the plate. Ooh, I don't know that, dude. <laughs> That's at the Palisades Mall. That's oh. SeaWorld, Bobby. <laughs> what are you in the VIP section? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're right. That was. I'll take three bunker, <laughs> dude, four. and a mackerel. I, I don't. I don't walk on a treadmill. I eat off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, get off the table, please. <laughs> you missed something. You're chasing it down. <laughs> it's like the luggage rack at the airport. That's what it's like. Just running around. <laughs> me and Patrice. Me and Patrice. A California rolls mine. <laughs> Get check, out of there. Check the tags on it. It's mine. <laughs> at the sushi place at that mall, okay. fourth floor. You um you there's it's fourth just, floor is wild. It's it, not fourth it's, floor. It just goes around like like the luggage thing at the airport, and you just grab one around the whole mall. No, not, <laughs> yeah, you yeah you sit anywhere. No, it's in the fucking restaurant. I'm, I'm down here next to Macy's waiting so, on a goddamn spring roll. You get a massage. <laughs> No, I know. I I know what you mean. I don't think I've ever. I've never been. There, I've never though. seen one of those in the mall, but I've it's seen them. The best sushi place ever, because the guy's just making sushi, and you're right here, and the conveyor belt's right here. So you just see something, you grab it, and you eat it, mm-hmm. and then they come and just add up your plates: blue plate, green plate, red plate, and it's different prices. Two dollars, five dollars, ten. Two dollars, five dollars, whatever, right? And you and you just eat as much as you want. You don't have to, like, you know, you don't have to order. Hey, can we get another one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can. Yeah. You can just overeat. And nobody knows. And it's the, uh, like, it looks like you're doing dishes. You know <laughs> Bobby's I mean? a bus boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Me, me and Patrice, I brought these from home. Me and Patrice actually made a place in Vegas, changed the rules. It was, it was all you can eat sushi. And the bitch was like, she went, you have to finish what's on your plate before you order again. Uh, and we were like, where's that rule? She goes, now it's the rule. They made the rule. She wrote it on a piece of paper and like stuck it up. Because we were just fucking, we had like $7,000 worth of sushi. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Just take them to the fucking cleaners. Yeah, it was That's great. Awesome. Uh, when was the la- when was your last official bang bang with Louis? With Louis? Yeah, isn't that who you did it with? Oh, I did it on the show, but not not with him. Uh, who would you do it with? I would do it with myself a lot, dude. Really? I remember. I mean, I think my last official was Bonchon. Bonchoon. Bonchoon. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. No problem. I know you're fucking. Yeah. I got a nickel in the company. I have stock in the company. <laughs> Bonchoon. <laughs> You racist. <laughs> I say bonchon. You say bonchoon. It's sure. Bon, it's bonchon. Uh, Korean chicken. It's bonchon. Ooh. Is it? It's bonchon. In the goddamn United States of America, boy. <laughs> goddamn right. It's goddamn bonchon, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Call it Barry Williamson. Hey, you fucking communist. <laughs> yeah. Bonchoon. Um, yeah, bonchon. I had bonchon, and then I went and got uh, a club sandwich with french fries. I just so strange. What? Well, I just, I really wanted a club sandwich, but then there was a bunch. Of, and I was like, I have sure. to get the fucking bunch. Yeah, you got to pop in. It's Say the hi. best fried chicken in the world. Yeah, it's There's all right. There's no other fried. I mean, it's better than, what What? what chicken beats bunch on? Mm. What? Korean fried chicken's pretty awesome. It's the fucking best. That would best. be Thai, though. Is bunch on Thai? No, Is I don't. Is it Korean? Fr- nah, no, it's Korean fried chicken. What are you looking at? Like I'm crazy. I don't. You cr- I don't like the fact he corrected his fucking pronunciation. Thank of it. You. you don't even know what country it's fucking. Yeah, from. it's one. It's over there. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Bonchon. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> bon Toby. I got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, we're doing a goddamn podcast over here. <laughs> What the- <laughs> and you screwed me on the dot net, by the way. Um, all right, let's see. Let's, we got to bang out a couple more of these. This one's from uh, RWM. Are you garbage if you entirely cut up your steak before eating it? Yes. That's crazy. I would. I'd fucking leave the table. Yeah, if that's somebody crazy. did that. Let me. Tell I you just so- learned that you're not not just, but learned it way too late in life that you're not supposed to do that. I've returned a steak. Cause they cut it. Whoa! Why would they cut it? Because it was their thing. Like, oh, I, they sliced it. They sliced it for me. I'd be okay with that. Fuck you. Whoa! Fuck you. This is what I'm here. When for. you get a steak, it. That, I want to see that motherfucker. I want to see what I'm about to eat. I want to go here and then maybe go over there. Was it still together when you got it though? It was fucking filleted. Like they sliced it and then put it out and made a presentation. Oh, okay, yeah. Fuck, Fuck that. you. Nah, I got you. You get a steak. You want it to hit that table. As is, mm-hmm. and then I cut my steak. Okay. If you don't, you don't cut your steak because first of all, if you cut the steak, you're letting the juices out, so it stops cooking. True. You you want that thing to when you cut it, it's hot inside. If you cut it open, now it's cold. So you're eating a fucking cold steak. It's stupid. Huh. You're supposed to cut it as you eat it, and then every bite is a little is warm. I like it. I'll give you that. What do yeah. you get in your steak? Medium rare. What medium do you do? Rare. Medium, medium rare. rare. I don't like people get rare. It's like fucking. Just go, yeah. go bite a cow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like medium rare. Yeah, if you cut it all up and then eat it, that's 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 psychopath behavior. Yeah, that's crazy. I was, crazy. Joe, I was doing that for a long time. You cut the whole thing with up. With everything. You cut the fucking steak? Oh, really? Not, I mean. What are you, Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> <laughs> I've had to say, not this, not steak now. I don't. Not anymore. But it took me a while. I think my wife was like made fun of me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I totally know what I'm talking about. Good like, for her. Yeah. Yeah, good for her. She's a little refined. How do you, do you hold the knife? How do you hold a knife and fork? Like this. Do you do like the, is the fork? Is the fork upside down. Upside down like that. I'm you know sorry. what I mean? No, I, I, I hold the fork like what this. What way is the fork? The fork is. Facing down. Facing down. Sure. I put it in the thing. But is the back, the underside of the fork facing me right here? The, or is the front? The no, front is facing you. Ooh. You could do both. That's yeah. A little I think the back's classier. I think you could yeah. do both. Yeah, you could do both. The inverted. You, you probably inverted. should. Inverted. But I like the way it kind of the knife goes sure, scoops I get down that. the thing. I'm with it. It's because if it goes that way, it kind of goes a little mm-hmm. off to the side. You cut it and then you put it in your mouth. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or if you're a real man, you fucking eat it like this, like a dick. <laughs> Don't forget S- to cut the balls from the back. Yeah, you suck on that steak. <laughs> yeah. I love a steak. You get the mutton chop yet? What? Keens. Now. Oh no. You guys, mutton. It's old lamb. It's a mutton chop. Really? It's yeah. Keens. It's right up the street. I know Keens. It's the best. They, huh. only, they only started allowing women going there like 10 years ago. <laughs> really? That's when I stopped going. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yes. Jesus. I think 30 years ago. They were like, all right, you broads can come in. <laughs> it's all clay pipes on the ceiling. Yeah. 
from back in the day, all these famous people. It was a men's, it was a men's steakhouse. They make a really good, uh, what's it called, wedge salad. The blue cheese wedge salad. I love a wedge. Who doesn't? I mean, who does? What, what, if there's a wedge or a Caesar. Let's go. Let's go. Can't. No, I'm just saying, like, okay. let's go. And we'll go. We'll go yeah. someday. Um, all right, just split a crouton or something. Split a fucking crouton. <laughs> yeah, crouton. I'll have a buddy of mutton chop. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little piece of your wedge. I'll be done. You start living through me, making me go to eating places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just watching order, me. Order eat. the calamari. Order the calamari. <laughs> Get the club sandwich next. I just smell your fingers. <laughs> I'm a food cook, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Bobby, Somebody eat cook. my steak, dude. Yeah, come over and eat with my wife so she feels comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Big bowl of spaghetti. I'm just, it's great, Bobby. Thanks. <laughs> You're filming me from a chair. Uh, I'm just licking my wife, but I can only eat it for a minute because I'm full. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's from Cody. Ten dollar buffoon here. I'm gonna. He's he's asked this question a lot, so we got to get to it. Uh, while growing up, did your house have a designated puke bowl or container that you would go to and use when you got sick? Like if you were sick on the couch, it would bring in. Mine was always the trash can from the. Yes. From the bathroom. Yes. The little trash can from the bathroom. 100%. Yeah. Ba- bath can- uh, trash can from the bathroom came out, and they put a new bag in it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, sometimes- we didn't do bags. I think we just barebacked it. Ugh. Really? I think so. Put a new bag next to the couch. I don't think we had bags in it to begin with. You didn't have bags in the trash can in the bathroom? Oh, no. So. No, not at all. That would just that, be that a special thing. After 2005, when you were puking. that happened. Dude, you got to put a bag. You can't puke into a fucking a plastic can. We would put a bag in there when, it, when, that, when that was brought up for that. But normally, no, there was never anything. When you puke, you have to have a bag in it. I think we just raw dogged it. Jesus. Dude, that's fuck. You throw the can out after? You kept the can. Kept the can. You where'd need you, a trash can. But where'd you put the puke? Who's got that much trash can? Where'd you put the puke? I guess he would dump it out in the stationary tub. In the in the stationary? In the tub? No. Like and the, then mush it down? The utility sink, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't doing it. That's wild, but Dude, no, that's we never. Wacky broad I'm we didn't. We didn't have here. a bag in the in the in the trash can in the bathroom because you would always see like a Q-tip would be stuck to the bottom of oh, it. Yeah, you have to you have scrape to it out. Oh, oh man, cotton balls oh. and shit. I would get the trash can Condoms. from the, the bathroom with a bag in it. Okay, that's that. good. Yeah, or you just run to the toilet. I mean, the toilet is the puke can. Sure. Yeah, but then you got to get up. You got your ice pops and Dude, fucking. There's you got nothing. Your shows going on. Yeah, but when you're fucking puking in the toilet, you get to just lie there in the cold floor in between puke. The cold floor is it's nice. Oh, right. There's nothing better than a Ooh, bathroom tile good. floor. And then the bottom of the bowl is usually a little cold mm-hmm. with some, some condensation. Splash some water on your face. Yeah, you fly and take a sip. <laughs> take a sip of water. Rehydrate. Really clean yourself out. Uh, well, this kid's. Uh, they used to use a bowl of Tupperware, and then he said, also bonus garbage, did your mom use that same bowl to make macaroni sandwich? Oh, that's, what the fuck? I mean, you can shit on my my mom for making me puke in a trash can, God that's damn. wild to reuse that bowl. That's insane. I mean, your mom, your mom, I mean, that's, that's crazy mom shit right there. Yeah. I mean, nothing against your mom, dude, but she didn't love you. <laughs> I, I mean, am I- am Just I, say macaroni. No, I mean, yeah. dude, taking it, first of all, a Tupperware- it's a lot of puke. You, you can't I mean, it's gauge one puke. Of those big like salad bowls. I just like a big mixing oh, bowl. Oh, that's the worst, dude. That's like sloshing around. <clears throat> oh, fuck that! God damn, some animals out there. I mean, that's Ooh. just nuts. That's and it, and the bowl, it hits the. You need a can. You need it to go to the bottom and hit flat. Yeah. You can't. That could ricochet out. Up and come. And hit the cat scooby. in the face. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> now she's puking. Yeah. Oh, the toilet is the best. The toilet's the everything best. goes away real quick. This, like it never happened. Do you ever? I, this happened to me yesterday. I did a uh, Christie's podcast over there. Shout out to Chrissy D. The best. And then uh, love them. Uh, Giannis too. I love Giannis. Wish love they get Yanni. back together. Love Yanni. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's work <laughs> it out. Um, Why did something happen? <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a shit so bad. I got nauseous while I was shitting. Oh, that'll happen. That's Ooh. a dilemma. Yeah. Wow. What do you do? Man. It's a game time decision. You got to see what you can quell faster. What I, did you do? I'll tell you what I did because I'm a pro. Uh huh. You shit. Shit puke between your legs. No. Bobby could do that now. I do that, <laughs> do that now. You shit Watch under, this. I shit under my balls. <laughs> Brought Yanni in. You got to see this. <laughs> you shit, flush immediately, right? If you can, you wipe a little bit. If not, you're all right. And then you you puke. Or you, and this was at Christie's house? Yeah, but I didn't puke. I just had the, the like puke a, mouth, the saliva. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I shit immediately. The runoff. Fl- you have to flush immediately. Because if you're going to puke, and then you don't want to puke into your shit. 
Because mm-hmm. the shit might come back sure. up, and now you got puke shit in your face. I'm aware. Been there, baby. <laughs> the great punk band name, puke, puke shit. shit in my face. Yeah. <laughs> I like their early stuff. So I, I flushed shit, shit flushed, spit the puke water, flushed, then went back down, shit the rest, wiped, and then spit again, flushed, washed. Good to go. Jesus. All at someone else's house. That's, That's wild. crazy. Yeah. If not, the other alternative... You puke in the sink of while course. you're or shitting. Or the bathtub. Or you if your that? family just puke in a, a plain <laughs> bucket. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, just yeah. wash that out. Did you reveal this to everybody in the house that that's what happened? Or you I, say you were combing your hair or something like that? No, I told them. turn the shower on? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, what are you doing in there? I did turn the water on. You're garbage. If, you don't, if you're shitting at somebody's house and you don't leave the faucet running. Always. To block the noise. Yeah. You're a fucking piece Dude, of shit. Dude, you want to hear something real classy? Uh, I was uh, just at my wife's house, and they have my wife's parents' house, and they're, they have a bathroom off, like, the living room, yeah. which is also, like, you know, connected to the kitchen or whatever, like their powder room or whatever. Yeah. They have, when you turn the Soundproof. light on, no, when you turn the light on, they have it hooked up that a radio starts playing, so it drowns out any sound. <sighs> I was like, that's what the fuck? I'm like, why is this? And she's like, oh, that's just so you have your own, like, yeah. you have your noise privacy. You your asshole else. queef during yeah. dinner. German metal band starts playing. <laughs> 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 it was Rammstein. <laughs> Rammstein. <laughs> flames start shooting out the front. Air freshener f- flames. <laughs> <laughs> just Febreze with a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, that's Those great. Germans are kooky. Yeah. That's fucking great. Yeah, that's genius. Awesome. That's yeah. pretty classy. I have actually bought my fucking wife saw Bond doors on some stupid, you know, show on sure. TV. Sure. She put them on the bathroom in the guest bathroom. Oh, I hate that. Dude, so, barn doors on a guest bathroom is not airtight. Wait, tight. what do you mean barn doors? Like a sh- the sliding john. Like a barn. It's on a track. Oh. It's like a big wooden door with I the metal. I thought you meant like, like when you walk into a saloon. That's saloon door. That's a saloon oh, door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a house door. Yeah. <laughs> You're in there taking it up. A... It's just a half seat. <laughs> you can see your feet in your head. Well, you can you see. You come out, you open it up. How you doing, partner? You can I, was see... just going, I was just being, I swear to God. <laughs> Saloon doors when you're taking a shit. That's funny. <laughs> well, when I, I went to Iraq, and I was, uh, what the fuck was that? Um, I went to Iraq. They don't have uh, stalls. They, they just have, have holes? They have toilets. Like the army? Like The just... army. Fuck so that. I had to go. I didn't know that. So I had to go take a dump like the first night I was there. and I'm I would have held it for two weeks. 100%. Dude, I'm just dumping with the dude across from me. And we, I'm like, I don't like up? peeing in front of people, let alone dropping a deuce. I was like, what's up, dude? <laughs> and then I had to go do the show. Oh. He was like second row. <laughs> just, he just kept looking at me like, dude, I just saw you shit. Oh, you can't bounce back from that. <laughs> that's a man, though. Those are men. Oh, yeah, true. They just shit. You're not the first guy he saw shit that day, nah, too. That's when, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, yeah, when you're- yeah, That's exactly. like jail rules. You know I, what I mean? But I did tuck my pecking down. I want him yeah. seeing that little mushroom cap. <laughs> you have your underwear pulled all the way up to your yeah. waist. All the way up to your waist. Yes. Yeah. My jacket over my fucking my cock. <laughs> I got his big army just dick in front of me. Just taking a load off, yeah. He's got his dick on the outside of the toilet, just taking a rest. <laughs> Peeing in the other toilet. <laughs> all right, we got to wrap it up. Bobby. What's up, buddy? Love buddy, you, pal. We love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love you, Congratulations. too. Congratulations. Thank you. Gang, one more time. Brand new special, Robert Kelly Killbox. LouisCK.com. Direct by Mr. Louis yeah, Or K. RobertKellyLive.com. RobertKellyLive.com. It's fantastic. He's a fucking killer. Check it out. Yeah, a killer. I didn't know it was on that website. You told me on the phone it was. I wouldn't have been pushing Louis this whole time. <sighs> Robert Kelly Killbox. Check it out. What do you got for him? You got anything else you want to focus on that now? No, nothing. Go get the special. I owe Louie a lot of money, <laughs> and I don't want to be in debt. Uh, it's a great special. I think it's uh, fucking, I, I'm proud of it. You know, sometimes you see the stuff you do, you're like, eh, fuck me. This one is great. It looks great. Uh, nothing like it. And uh, I'm proud that one of the funniest guys walking actually directed it and, and produced it. And uh, that means a lot to me, of course. too. And I love that we're all doing our own shit now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not waiting for a yes. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. waiting for a no. We're just doing it. Yes, and, sir. And, and we're all helping each other out now, which is fantastic, too. You know, We don't need to go on The Tonight Show. God bless it. We don't need to do all this other stuff or radio tours. We just fucking go on each other's shows. Everybody all, everybody help each other, baby. And our fans fucking uh, help everybody. And, uh, the best. We, we just do our own thing now. So thanks for having me on. You guys are the best. Of course, and, buddy. Hopefully see you on YKWD soon. And let me know if, uh, you know. You'll be getting a call. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. 100%. Yeah, for the number to the state tips. 
I'll give you my. You want my old clothes? <laughs> I want your old steak tips. I got your, you. Got it. You can have it. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, we're all over the road. Uh, get some tickets. Yeah, come uh, see us. Added some shows in Providence. Added a show in Boston. Grab those ticks. Yes, get them. And then also Atlanta. Though we have two shows yeah, come as part of the us. Red Clay Comedy Festival. And then also Charlotte. Get those motherfucking tickies. Gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.